right, guys, it's test drive time again. 1957 Bel Air yellow with a white top and matching interior. 350 under the hood. No power steering. We do have power brakes on this one. Aluminum radiator, aftermarket set of revs. We've also got disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Anything I see throughout this video, you'll know about it. Be sure to hit subscribe. I noticed like 75% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed. So help out the channel. Hit that subscribe button. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, look around the interior. Check everything out. Place those bats. Do you think the horn works on this one? We go down the road and see what we can find. I like the interior. I got a bag full of goodies. The description is full of useful information. So be sure to check out the links that I provide below and the description of the car. Headliner's a little loose there. We'll start this one up. Gear drive on the 350. Does the radio work? Yep, it does. Lower motor. Ah, a little stiff switch. Wipers. Uh, wipers need, look at that, switch is loose. Wipers need a little help. We'll get some gas. Engine temperature on this is not right. It is here, coming up. Place those bats, you think the horn works? We're gonna be trying it out. It does, let's hit the road. Let's see how this one runs a drive. Okay. Let's go ahead and roll out of here. Got to stop by the auto park store. As you can imagine, it's a daily spot for me. <laughs> it's pretty clean in here. Get my AC going here. Time to roll. Well, she's straight as an arrow. The speedometer seems a bit fast. Getting in our brakes. They feel just fine. Back in our throttle. Man, that sounds great. Kick down's hooked up and the steering is tight. As soon as I turn, it turns. What a good start to this video. Uh, I've had this car running for about 10, 15 minutes now, sitting in the parking lot, just checking the temp. And it's nice and hot outside. We're sitting at 200 and staying at 200, so we should be good to go. The next portion of the video, I'll be getting the undercarriage lit up and we'll also stop and get a little bit of fuel. I'll be right back. All right, so I did. I put about five gallons worth of fuel in this one. I run 93 octane and everything. Literally everything. Any vehicle, I never, I never use 87 ever. But there's your gas cap. Oh, I know all kinds of people give me statistics down in the comments about. Why don't you just use 87? Well, I just don't, man. I like burning up money, I guess. <laughs> kidding, kidding. Gas gauge works too. It was on E. We're good to go.
roll. This electric fan is not strong enough to keep up, so I noticed it crept up to about 215. And if I get to moving down the road, it'll come back down to 190. What it needs is a fan shroud put around the electric fan that is in place, and it should be fine. I don't think the fan itself needs to be replaced. It just needs some kind of a shroud to help pull some of that air through. Um, that's the only thing that I've noticed. Otherwise, this thing runs and drives great. You know, power steering would be nice, but we don't have that. <laughs> Now I did put the walk around video at the end of this whole video. So you want to go there the last like 10, 15 minutes is just me walking around looking at the paint, checking the doors out, the body, uh, in the trunk. I check everything out guys. Okay, so I'm getting ready to pull back into Maple Motors. Again, if you haven't, hit subscribe. Uh, I noticed a huge chunk of people that watch these videos have not subscribed yet. Yeah, that'll help us out quite a bit. All right, picking out the flaws. Coming up next. Okay, let's walk this ride. Anything I find, you'll know about it. Uh, I noticed this fan kind of sucks on this radiator. Look at it. I mean, it's working but this thing got up to about 215 and it needs a shroud around that fan to really kind of pull um i noticed when i cut it off my overflow of course we fill up all the radiators to the top when we get them check all the fluid ratings and uh the overflow will come out or whatnot well i noticed it kind of sprinkled out here after i cut it off and it'll do that when it gets to 215 because once you cut it off, it's going to go up another 10 or 15 degrees. Um, solution. Better fan. <laughs> While I'm driving, it stays cool. As soon as you hit the road, this thing drops back down 190. It's good to go. Uh, when I'm in the parking lot doing all my footage, just circling around for 15, 20 minutes, yeah, it'll start heating up. Because I'm just zooming, getting in the throttle, doing my thing. I didn't do anything to hurt it, I promise you. All right, coming down the side here. A little dirt or something. A little cracks in the paint. That's what it is. Cracks over here in the corner. Chrome looks good on the back. A little chip here edge no crack there spot here chrome looks decent on the mirror chrome looks good on the handle there A 
spot in the corner. A little hazy spot. Looks like some overspray. Back window on this one's pretty clean. Glass looks good. Old glass there. cracks in the door. Kind of hanging a little bit. spot there again some old glass on the front here chip up top there's a dent right here On the back bumper. package tray a couple little chips on the edge there She's locked. Let's go ahead and check out that interior.
kind of squished down there and needs to be filled back up. Carpet looks wonderful. Headliner's kind of wrinkled. Can you hear the fan working? Like I said, it just needs a fan shroud. Oops, sorry. Hit that camera. Thank you for watching. Detail pictures, financing and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Be sure to hit subscribe. That's going to help the channel. I try to be as honest as possible so you know what you get before you get here. I'll see you in the next one. Later, guys.